Hi, I'm Matthew West, and I'm a preacher's kid, and I've lived to tell about it. I grew up in a great home, uh, the oldest of three brothers. My mom and dad are amazing, and we grew up in a Chicago suburb. I, I knew a lot about how to look and talk and act like a good Christian. I felt the pressure of being that preacher's kid often. Being a Christian to me oftentimes equated with how my performance looked. In other words, I'm sitting in the front row every Sunday and uh, I gotta make sure that I sing loud so that all the people watching me can see, oh, he's worshiping. Okay, he knows all the right Bible verses. And for so long in my life, I, I spent time just thinking maybe it was all about saying and doing all the right things and having the appearance of being a Christian. But I think over time, uh, it maybe just felt like, well, I'll get to heaven because I've got connections because my dad's a preacher. But at the age of 13, um, something just began to wake up inside of me. I was watching television. I was looking for a baseball game. I'm a Cubs fan. And instead, I stumbled upon a Billy Graham crusade that was on television at the time. Now, normally when I would see a television evangelist, uh, a program come on my TV, I was the first one to click and change the channel as quickly as I could. Why? Because, to be honest with you, most television evangelists would give people like my dad a bad name. For example, I'd go to school and, you know, the question that you're always asking in school is, well, what does your dad do? What does your mom do? And I'd say, well, my dad's a minister. And a common response from my friends was, oh, your dad's like that guy on TV always asking for money. And I would always have to defend my parents and what they did and what our family stood for and our faith. And yet there was something different about Billy Graham. And then for some reason, I couldn't change the channel that day. And I remember just sitting there as he was sharing the gospel message about how much God loves us, that he sent his only son to die for us. Now, remember, I've heard thousands of sermons that my dad had preached, and I'd like to think that one by one, God was using them to work on my heart. In fact, I joke with my dad uh, to this day that I heard thousands of his, his messages, but it took Billy Graham to get me saved. But there I was, a 13-year-old kid, uh, looking for a baseball game and finding Billy Graham instead. And my mom saw me that day sitting on the couch, and um, she's a woman of prayer. And I know that's probably a moment she prayed for for a long time. And she sat down with me, and she said, uh, would you like to pray? Do you want to accept Jesus into your heart? And I looked at her, and I said, yeah, I, I do. And at the age of 13, I sat there with my mom on that couch. I'll never forget it. And I prayed, and I asked Jesus to come into my heart. Meanwhile, on the TV, I was watching thousands of people leave their seats and come down to the altars, accepting Jesus into their hearts while the choir was singing, Just As I Am. And that was a defining moment in the story of my life and the story of my faith and uh, the hour I first believed. And I'll never forget it. I'm Matthew West, and I've been ransomed.